If you have an ATEM Mini Pro or Extreme, you might be familiar with the ability to reset the ATEM in the event that you are running into trouble. But one thing that we didn't know about the ATEM Mini Extreme and ATEM SDI Extreme models popped up in a video that Blackmagic released on their YouTube channel recently. You see, if the ATEM is acting up, you can reset it. This is essentially a reinstall and factory reset. You can do this by unplugging the ATEM from power, making sure that it's connected to a computer over USB, and then plugging it back into power while holding down the mic one on button. However, the minor detail that we didn't know was that you actually have to use USB-C connection B in order to complete this reset, not the A port. Perhaps this was mentioned in a Blackmagic forum or support article somewhere, but this was new information to me, and I felt like it would be important to share that with all of the ATEM Mini Extreme users out there. So again, if your ATEM is acting up or not behaving as you'd like, a reset is something to consider, but just know that you need to use USB slot B instead of A on the Extreme models. Thanks for checking out this ATEM Quick Tip, and I'll be seeing you soon.